And now all the cows are allowed to go in this new shed. I'll show you here, as you can see. Just woke that one up. Sorry about that one. But it is all pretty much finished. All the cubicles are in, lined up. Slat floors now, much easier. They're loving it in here. They're always in and out of here, getting food coming back in. But yeah, it's obviously not full because still got all of that room out there. So they've got plenty of space to go now. Yeah, they love it in here. Luckily, from all the work that's been put into this shed, you would have hoped that they would. But yeah. So we've, we've used the box and it needs cleaning out, so that's what we're going to do now. We're going to volume wash it out, because it's had hay in it and everything, moving animals. And obviously we don't want to keep it dirty, we have to keep on cleaning it out. So for new animals that are going in, they stay clean, because you don't want to keep getting them dirty as you're moving them. So let's get this over to the volume washer and clean it out. Now that's moved out of the way. I'm going to put these cows back. It's started to rain again, it's a bit annoying. Yeah, we're just gonna reverse it into there. Volume wash out and then pressure wash over it maybe. Let's reverse this back and then we start cleaning it out. Just parked up, hopefully I've left enough room to open the back door. Yeah, plenty of room. Fit another tractor there. Right. Open it. Now I'm gonna take that door out, it's pretty heavy. So hopefully I'll be able to. But yeah, it's gonna volume washer it out. I might get the fork and just um, get these big bits up first and then we use water I hope it doesn't fall else it's going to be covered but just gonna get rid of this I'm not going to leave all of this in the yard obviously because we don't want to scrape it up I'll put, pick it up in the skid steer Got the volume washer, hopefully this will get most of it out. So, 
all this water is going uh, down a drain which is going to a tank which will be all sorts so we're not just dumping this in a random place it is going all down that water drain in a tank And the walls are not though they will get pressure washed not yet not sure if i will be filming it yet and we'll pressure wash this these the door of course but yeah it's just the floors done and before any more animals do go in that will get done but yeah gonna clean up that silage put it right in the spreader but that floor is done so far so that looks good now I'm going to take this back down where it was and then soon we'll press wash it then hopefully we'll be moving some sheep with it I'll try and film that this needs a wash too now parked away and I'm pretty sure that was not there when I left so I think a cat while I was doing that climbed on and made a mess great Scoop this up. And I'm not going to push too far on that wall, so I'm going to use the fork to just put the rest in. Scoops it all up, no mess left. It's all gonna go in the spreader that's slightly fallen off though. Great stuff. There you go, just great, just what I wanted to do. I'm not gonna go get the fork again. So that's what I thought about that situation. But let's go take this to the spreader. magic and that is now finished so today we're going to be injecting some calves and this is because the weather's got bad so we're going to be giving them some injections for pneumonia and to stop their cough so let's get on with that now
they're all having a sleep at the moment. But they are a lot more lively, better than they were before, running around, as you can see. But yeah, they're all definitely looking a lot better. But that is the end of this video. I hope you have enjoyed. And if you have, then I'll see you in the next one.